Hello happy people, Hamza here and welcome to this video. In this tutorial I'm going to take you through an exciting Elementor extension called Elementor Extras. They pretty have amazing add-ons and extensions for Elementor and I hope you can enjoy this video and you find it of value. The team at Elementor Extras actually makes some amazing Elementor widgets and add-ons that you can use in your Elementor website. And in case you actually have some developer skills, or some coding knowledge you can actually customize these extensions to the bone so that means that you can take control over the number of widgets that these people have in stock for you now if we look into the library of widgets that they have they have gallery widgets post widgets gallery sliders scroll indicators hotspots switchers devices calendars and a lot more other widgets right here however i'm basically going to take you through the ones I found unique or the ones that I think you would find of value to you. The very number one for me was the gallery slider. And the good thing about this slider is that you can put your thumbnails to the left, to the right, to the bottom of the slider for each breakpoint separately. This is what they mean. Now here we have our thumbnails right down here. Now on the next one we have our thumbnails just here on this other side. And here is the snake peek. Of the widget editor and you can even add a number of effects sizing and blend you can align your thumbnails to any section and even the spacing and on top of that this widget is responsive this is actually a unique widget that i think you should be checking out from elementor extras when you look into here the widget settings you can actually make a number of customizations to this element next on the list is the search form widget here they say give your visitors reasons to search with a new search widget for Elementor. Now when you look up down here, we have our search widget. And here we can even enable our visitor to select what they really want to search for. If they are posts, pages or an article. You even have advanced search filters. You can add a number of categories, tags and even topics right down here. You can even turn your restrictions into filters for users to use when they search your content. You can have each filter display beneath the form or in line. Displaying them under the form will allow you to choose checkboxes, radio buttons as filter types. See how that looks like. You can even add unique search results and a lot more other possibilities that you have if you choose to use this search form. Next on my list is the slide menu add-on. Look at the magic this menu does. Look at this. Slide menus. Look at this. Look down right here. See how that slides in. And you can place this widget anywhere on your website. Shouldn't only be in the header. And look at the styling of this specific a widget which looks really nice and here is a snake peek of the back end and the styling possibilities that you have if you are working with this widget so you should actually check it out i'm going to leave a link to elementor extras right down in the description box below next on my list is the off canvas here they say use the off canvas widget for elementor to create mobile navigation or to bring in content on the page open any content and set any trigger you want and uh, look at how this looks like the positions you can have it come from the left or even from the right or from the top or even from the bottom see that i really find this unique and then you even have different transitions look at that that is an overlay that is a push that is a reveal and that is a shift and of course you can navigate through these sections or these menu items or whatever you added in your off canvas section and the sneak peek of the back end you have a lot more customizations you can add that to anywhere you can add triggers and a lot more other possibilities and so that is the elementor extras of canvas element or widget next on my list is called the content revealer look at this when i click over here this widget is going to show more of that content when i click over here it will also show more of that same content so in case you ever wanted to 
make something like this for your Elementor website, then Elementor Extras is something you should think about. It's a simple widget but unique and haven't seen it on other extensions I've been checking out. In case you guys I missed it out on any of the other extensions I've been reviewing, let me know in the comment box below. I'll be happy to read from you. Otherwise, it's something that I really liked. The other one on our list is an inline SVG widget. The perfect way to add scalable graphics to your site, change their size and color and add links. The perfect way to add icons and vector graphics to Elementor. This includes color change for single color artwork, link support, responsive sizing and hover color. This is a sneak peek of the widget in the back end and a lot more things that you can actually customize right here the graphics the colors the alignment and you can even add custom css to that specific widget in case you don't know how to use svgs in elementor or you basically want to see how to create svg for your elementor website i'm going to leave a link right up here in the card for a tutorial that i made on how to create svgs for your elementor website for free or even another tutorial on how you can use svgs in elementor so kindly please check it out next on my list is the edge gate add-on this is a widget that in case you want to restrict your content to a certain edge of people then you have to think about this widget here they say the edge gate widget for elementor allows you to ask your visitors to confirm their age before they can access your site or a specific page use it in a global template to restrict access to all your site set your own custom required edge fully customizable form and messages pop-up position and width let's look at this in another section you see how this looks like then right here i can add maybe i am five years when i select me in here they will say sorry you must be 18 to access this website now if i reload again now if here i put 19 you see now i have access to this website so in case you want to do something like that for your website then the edge gate is something that you have to think about and of course you can make a lot more customizations you can even limit access to a specific to a specific page or piece of content on your website and of course you have all these possibilities right down here colors font and a lot more customizations for this specific widget next is the pop-ups for elementor of course i've done so many tutorials about elementor pop-ups how to create pop-ups but i also think this widget deserves a mention and here you can create all kinds of pop-ups with a single widget includes custom triggers and selectors for opening and closing the pop-ups and elementor template support when i click over that this is what i see this is basically for your pop-up you can even add exit intent pop-ups and you can even create amazing 3d tilt effect for your visitors in case you want also a tutorial specifically on exit intent pop-ups in elementor i've actually created a tutorial on that i'm going to leave it up here in the card or in the description box below so that you check it out you can even use these pop-ups from elementor extras to display images display videos just like any other pop-ups if you are using elementor see so this is for the maps and in case you want to show a full page template you have the possibility to do that and you can even add triggers on scroll delay a close selector and even close icon option right there and in case you also want to display notification pop-ups well elementor extras enables you just to do that and of course here they give you a sneak peek of how that specific widget can be customized in elementor next on the list is the random image and uh, when I reload this over here, you realize that actually images will change automatically without anything done here. And of course, these settings are done right in the back end of your website, just right here in the sneak peek. You add a couple of images that you want them to show up randomly on your site. And once your visitors reload that website or that specific page, automatically your page will change to a random image that you already selected or provided just like this next on the list is a display condition add-ons and this is how it looks like you can add display conditions for your sections and widgets on various scenarios such as on current page current archive authentication status browser and operating system date and time of day including advanced custom fields and much more like for example 
you see here you can enable conditions right here you can show content based on the date or time of the day and here you can even hide or show content based on the post type okay so you have all these available conditions for your elements date visitor current single current archive seo fields pods tool set and a lot more including variables here is a sneak peek in the back end of what this specific widget has for you or what customizations you can actually do with this specific widget next and the very last one is a sticky elements this includes the offset top offset bottom and stick on breakpoints custom parent selector and flow scroll so this is basically what it is showing right here and uh, the sneak peek back end of how this looks like you can make these customizations and that specific element that you select to be sticky then it will show up on your website just like this here see this element see how sticky it is so based on the conditions that you set you can set you can make that specific widget sticky on any area or part of your website anyway that's it for elementor extras but before i close let me take you through the pricing they have three packs one which is a single license and one which is unlimited license and another which is a lifetime license for a single license comes at 26 euros with 31 widgets and extensions free support for one year free updates for one year and access to all upcoming widgets and the one for unlimited websites the license is for one year and support for one year and you pay 64 euros and comes with 31 widgets including those that will come in the future and for the lifetime pack you pay 128 euros and you'll have support and updates for a lifetime and all the available widgets including those that will come in future anyway that's it all i close it up for now thank you so much for watching this video i hope it brought you a lot of value in case you have any comments questions about elementor extras please let me know in the comment box below and in case you want a specific video about a specific element from elementor extras also let me know i'll be happy to read from you otherwise if you're new to the channel please subscribe and if you like this video please hit the like button thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one